You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. And welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. I'm glad that you have joined me. I don't know if you've watched the uh, congressional hearings yesterday on with Adam Schiff as the chairman of the Intelligence Committee, but as I watched it and as I listened to it and as I read the documents being presented, what I am finding is that Adam Schiff is really shifty. He is a shifty, conniving, lying politician. And why Californians put him into office, I have no idea. But he's become a danger to this to this country. When you have an individual who takes a document, which was the transcript of the conversation between the president, takes that documentation, and then as he's presenting it to Congress, he adds more words onto it that was never into the document. And then he says, no, it's just a parody. I'm sorry, no, what he did was he took a document and added untruthful words to the document being presented. And that is not acceptable. That is unethical in every single means. It's not the way that Americans want our country's leaders to be handling an issue of impeachment on a document, and on one document, besides the transcript, but on the other document, which was the formal complaint by a whistleblower, which used to be known as an an authorized, or or, or not an an authorized, but, but a source. Remember how... All of the newspapers and the, the the Democrats would always say we have a source. Well, now they've upgraded it, upgraded it to a whistleblower, a whistleblower who has second and third conversational knowledge of what may or may not have happened. And let me tell you, you do not see, you do not see. The people who are supposedly concerned filing filing a formal complaint. You don't see it. But you see this CIA operative who wrote a very clean uh, uh, complaint. I have very little doubts in this whole situation. I think we're right back to the situation where we have uh, sources being used as documentation to frame a president to add to the narrative of Adam Schiff's lies to the American people. And now, and, and I, you know, I'm thinking about this and I'm saying, gosh, you know what? If we were ever before Congress, if we had a, 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 a project or a, a concern that we went to Congress about, and that congressman, Adam Schiff, let's say, doesn't like what we're saying. What is he going to do to you? Is he going to turn around and make you look like your child molester or something out there in this world? I have no control. I mean, I have no control over my concerns about what I'm seeing because the evidence does not point to any illegal activity has no no substance you cannot use hearsay evidence in the criminal in the criminal hearing i heard this and i heard that <clears throat> my gosh i could go out there and say you know what i heard adam schiff say i heard that and make a big old story would that be used as a Evidence in a in a congressional hearing because I heard Adam Schiff. Well, then if that's the case, then listen to the American people. I tell you right now, I heard Adam Schiff create a lie on the 
documentation presented for Congress. But will anything be done? No, nothing, because it was the truth that I just said. I just told you the truth of what was, and you can go back and replay the tapes over and over and over again. But see, the truth is never accepted. It's always a third party. It's either I heard somebody say, I, oh, you know what, I think I heard the, you, that's not evidence. It's stupidity is what it is. And now we have Adam Schiff, who should be brought up on ethics charges by the Congress, but he'll go scot-free because Pelosi is also doing the same thing. This is a big old dirty, nasty, ugly, corruptible political game that the Democrats are playing. And as an American, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of all this nonsense. Every single day, instead of hearing about what Congress is doing for America, all that we hear is hate towards the president from the Democratic Party. Hate does not do, does not do anything for this country. You think about it, because Americans are tired, so sick and tired of hearing about this every single day, but because of political power, the Democrats keep pushing it forward. It's nonsense. It's worthless. And I'm asking Congress right now, any Republican or any Democrat who feels strongly about ethics, that you write a formal complaint to the Ethics Committee and bring Adam Schiff up on ethics charges for what he did yesterday. And every single lie that he has told throughout the last three years of this nonsense trying to take the president down. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. I did not like Trump when he was running. I thought he was arrogant. I thought he was had a big ego. But I knew one thing about him is that when he did things, he got things done. When he said, I'm going to build this building, he went out and built the building. When he said, I'm going to go out and buy that company or I'm going to create this company, he went out and he did it. So I voted for Trump because he always kept his promises to what he said he was going to do. So I knew that he was going to be a hatchet man and when he got to Washington, D.C., he was going to make some changes that would improve the nation, not hurt the nation. And we may not like the way that he says things or the way that he explains things or the way he tries to get things done, but he gets them done. So I don't really care what he says at this moment because I'm so tired of the lies of what's coming out of the Democrats. So we have a problem in this nation where we can't trust the politicians who are chairmen of very important committees, oversight committees, intelligence committees, judiciary committees. We can no longer trust them because they have one thing in mind, and that is to impeach and destroy the president of the United States because they have no one to run. If you look at today's news, People in Wall Street, the Democratic donors in Wall Street said, listen, if you are going to put up Elizabeth Warren, we're not going, we're, we're either going to sit out or we're going to put our money behind Trump. Now that's kind of strong when you talk about uh, 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 Wall Street before who have put billions of dollars into these campaigns. Now saying, listen, if you put Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren up, we're not going to back her. We can't trust her because she's anti-business. So the Democrats have no one in their in their whole stash of people that they've brought before the American people to run for president. There's not one single one there that is acceptable to the American people. And the Democrats know that. So what do they do? They try to destroy the president. The, the Democrats have no policies to run on except for free this and free that, higher taxes, less military, anti-business, anti pro-socialism. That's their message. 
And they know that will that that message will not win with the American people. So what do they try to do? They try to attack the president, and and in in in, in the process of attacking the president, they attack the economy, and Wall Street dumps, goes down. This is not the America that I grew up with. This has become a very dirty political arena that we're all watching every single day as Americans and getting more and more disgusted by the way that our politicians are acting. They're certainly not representing our views. They're not representing us. They're representing their political party and the power that they want to yield, or wield, I mean, in the United States. We should stand up. Because our nation is in danger. It's in danger of far-left individuals who want to turn our country into a socialist-driven country. And socialism has not worked in all the other countries out there. It slowly is falling and falling and failing. And yet we have these leftist Democrats who want to take this America and destroy it. So I call, listen, if Congress wants to be ethical, then they should hold a ethics hearing on Adam Schiff. If they want to show us that they are truly concerned about the ethics of their institution, then they need to hold Adam Schiff accountable before their peers. Because he has seen, he has been seen right now as unethical by the American people. And the Democrats have been seen unethical by the American people. Why do you think the president's popularity rating keeps going up and up and up because of the antics of the Democrats? I have almost come to the conclusion that I will never ever vote for a Democrat based upon what I've seen today. And I have in my past voting life, I have voted for Democrats. But I'm certainly not going to vote for any for by what I'm seeing now. The unethical practices of politics have become have become worse in the last few years than ever before. So we have to be careful and we have to protect all liberties of this great republic of America. We need to protect it. And that has to do with you and me as voters voting in people who are going to protect our rights. And protect our nation. If you have any questions, send me a text at 818-252-5682. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Again, that's 818-252-5682. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll talk with you very soon. Everybody go out. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518. Or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. This podcast has been produced by Michael Lodge, totally focused on content.